Oh yeah. We're getting knowledge. Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118, and in this episode, we are going to be eating 28 knowledge stars in order to unlock thermal expansion. If you didn't see the last episode, which you should, it's a very good one, we grinded out the last 8 stars in only 2 hours, and today we reap the rewards. Oh, that is a lovely sound. And an even more favorite sound of mine? Whoo! Oh, new transmogs! Though, I like my uh, Rainbow King set. I, I, I'm i thinking we'll look pretty dapper like this, but we'll have to see these new transmogs. Let's see. Ooh, thermal helmet. Okay, that actually looks kind of cool. It's got a good look to it. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Definitely a really cool look. I'm definitely going to be needing to make an armor haul sooner or later. Ooh, because this one is looking like it's going to be quite good. But for now, for now, for now, we got to stay focused. We got to stay on track because, you know, I'm really good at that. What I want to use thermal expansion for is the blast chiller to make ice. And I believe we can also make, yeah, snowballs. And I guess we could turn liquid honey into honey blocks. But we don't really need to do that, I don't think. I mean, I guess that does give us a way to turn the honeycomb we have into honey, so in case that needs to happen. But for the most part, this will be a great way to farm ice and snowballs, so we don't ever have to go ice mining or snowball hunting. I'm quite tired of that. And for that, we need the blast chiller, which I, I honestly I think is not that big of a craft. Uh, I think the biggest overhead is going to be getting invar ingots, which is like an alloy thing. Um, and then otherwise, I'm pretty sure thermal stuff is cheaper-ish. I mean, you know, it's a little bit of chromatic steel and Lyramar for the machine frames, but that's to be expected. That's just the kind of deal. And then these redstone flux coils, I mean, done. And honestly, even the machine casing is not that bad. I, can you place it down? Is this like a block? That's a good looking block. I'm not gonna lie. I like the sound it makes too. It's like a metally scaffolding. Oh, Invar is not that hard at all. Okay, so Invar is just iron dust and nickel dust. Uh, and then nickel dust is from nickel, actually, I think. Yeah, it's just from nickel ore. Or you could put it in something called the pulverizer to get nickel dust. Well, let's see, do we have any nickel ore? Or should we go the pulverizer route? We do have nickel ore. I'll just quickly run this through our... Pentup oh, oh, I can't pentuple it? Oh, man. You know what, then? Why not make a pulverizer? I mean... Let's get right into it, you know? Uh, it's pretty cheap. I just need blocks of flint. Oh, that's pretty. I like how that looks. Do I like how that looks? That's a very interesting look. That would look great for the meteor. Ooh. Copper gears. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Pulverizer. For now, I'm just going to do a temporary workshop in the middle of our base. I'll just slap it. There we go. So you're filling up. Oh, that's actually... These guys can store a lot of power. Cool. But if I drop this in the pulverizer, very slowly, we should add what, a little double the nickel dust, I think. Cool, we get two nickel dust and a gravel. And now to pulverize our iron. Oh, that's much faster, at least in ingot form. There we are. Ah, we just need fire charges to make our invar. No problem. Cool. Six invar ingots, which I wanted to turn into the, the gears, right? Yes, two Invar gears, please. Oh. What? I thought I made six ingots. I did make six ingots. That's that's just not enough. It's, oh, no, I need more nickel stuff. Okay, but that's fine, because we have some iron ore that apparently we can pulverize into nickel. Oh, but only if there's flint. Oh, I gotta get some flint then. All right, put that in. Oh, that changed it. Okay, but maybe that means that we'll get... Nickel? Is that guaranteed now? Doesn't seem like it. There was some other thing I could have put in there. Oh, come on. Quit it with that. Ah, oh, I gotta get the flint and the steel out. Ugh. Come on. I'm in the middle of something here. Uh, don't waste all my iron ore. I just... I mean... Send, come on. Stop shooting... Ugh. Okay. Die. Bazal's... Bazal's powder. Bazal's shard, or I could get more Bazal's shard by doing it with flint. Bus, do I have? Oh, I have ten Bazal's shards. Mm. 
Maybe I got... Oh, I, I think those are like... There's like some enemy that spawns in deserts. I think that's what I got them from. So do I do I get the basalt basals basals? Oh yeah, basals. I definitely want to make those things faster, and I think it's this augmentation stuff that'll do it. I believe it's this flux linkage amplifier. I think, which needs lead, an electrum. Oh, ooh. Well, okay, lead I have access to. That's just an ingot, but electrum is gold, silver, and fire charges. Is it? Lead we have, although it's the mechanism lead. I don't know if that'll work. Do we have any silver stuff? No. But I can put raw lead in to possibly get silver dust. Well, I could use the basals powder, I think. What's the slag? What do you do, slag? You make, um, concrete powder. And a cool-looking block. And dirt. Puddle. Mycelium. What? Wool? Wait. Rock wool. What? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. What is rock wool? Oh well. So if I put this Bazal's power in and this lead in... Oh, that makes it go fast. Ah! Silver. One silver. I don't think that's enough. Okay, it looks like I need to go mining. I need to find silver ore... Or lead ore, but I'll be able to make silver for electrum. I wish there was an easier way to get the modded ores, because it does sometimes feel a little silly being like vault level 56 and just kind of having to like wander into the caves for a few minutes every time I unlock a new mod. What are you? Are you nickel? Yep. You would have been useful. Silver and lead. I feel like I'm playing Terraria. That's definitely not a complaint, by the way. I love Terraria. Definitely one of my all-time favorite games. Ooh, you look like tin. I great. I thought thought maybe that was silver. Clearly not. Clearly not. Are you silver or are you more tin? You're tin. Tin is Terraria esque Terraria esque Terraria esque tin. So I happen to be a big fan of Terraria and Minecraft, but I know that there is, this is just more tin, but it looks different, okay? But I know that there is a pretty, like, decently sized group, I'm pretty sure, of people who only like one or the other. Now, I imagine if you're watching these videos, you definitely enjoy Minecraft. Um, but I'm curious, do you also enjoy Terraria? I'm very partial to modded Terraria myself. You know, if you if you haven't looked back on my channel, you wouldn't know this, but I, I used to make Terraria content. <laughs> I'm certainly not encouraging you to go back and look at it. I don't think it's very good. Uh, and it's from years ago, so... <laughs> I, I don't even... I don't remember if it's any good or not. I haven't gone back and rewatched it. Admittedly, I've been meaning to take it off of my channel, or at least archive it, because it's just... It's, <laughs> it's not at all what I do. Um, but I wonder... I wonder about branching out one day, because I love Vault Hunters, but Vault Hunters won't last forever, you know? So maybe, uh... Maybe if there's a lot of Terraria lovers, huh? Do a little, do a little diversification. And hey, while I'm running around grabbing ingredients and stuff for our nice machiny machines, consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of March, and uh, so far you guys have been absolutely blowing that out of the water. The growth this channel is having is ridiculous. I'm telling you, it's amazing. This is an amazing community to be a part of. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. All right, that's enough modded mining for me. Back to the home base. Oh, we have a ton of these things, uh, most of which I have no idea what they do. And I am only here for the silver. Ooh, 16 deep slate silver. Uh, okay, so to get the silver dust, I can pulverize one silver for two dust. But I could also pulverize a raw silver for silver dust. So we should actually fortune these guys. Already fortune four, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the right decision. Okay, so I'll put like 11. Beautiful. Give me that silver dust. And it should give me a little bit of lead dust too. Awesome, perfect. Sweet, so now electrum should be ours. Okay, with our electrum blend, which I'll just quickly pop in here to smell, we'll be able to make that speed augment to make this guy faster. Perfect. Oh, and now we can make more invar ingots, so there we go. 
So with our Invar gears, we just need to whip up another one of these bad boys. Smack this together. Bam. Blast chiller. Aw, oh, yeah. Hook it up to our little power system here. Ba -ba -ba. It's going to fill up. We got to put some water in it. That's pretty easy considering we have a bucket of infinite water. Oh, yeah. Bam. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Away it goes. It's just ice time, baby. Ooh, that uses a lot of water. It uses a bucket of water each time. Ooh, it's expensive. But infinite ice, pretty nice. And now we can put a speed augment in here to make this ice production super duper 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 fast. So if we just make these electrum plates. Okay, so the electrum plates need another machine called a multi-servo press, which requires bronze. Woo! All right, we're getting there. <laughs> so in review, in review, in review, we have made a pulverizer to crush down ores and ingots into the resources we need to make a blast chiller, which turns water into ice and now what we're trying to do is make a flux linkage amplifier which i'm pretty sure should speed the machines up the only thing is we need something called a multi-servo press to turn electrum ingots into electrum plates and that is going to require bronze ingots from the thermal series which uh actually we could use bronze ingots from mechanism which i think are a lot easier to make aren't they yeah, they're just a metallurgic. You just put tin in a metallurgic infuser and copper ingots. That is super easy. Whoop, didn't mean to pause. That is super easy. We have a bunch of tin. Okay. Love to see it. Into the metallurgic infuser you go. Make me bronze. Very slowly. The bronze age. Does it give us an achievement? Oh, I wanted to give us a bronze age achievement. Now with our bronze in hand, we need to make something called constant, it seems. Uh, as constant copper and nickel. Okay, that's pretty easy, actually. I just need to make fire charges. Yeah, okay, we can make a bunch of constant. Good thing, too, because we need eight. Oh, there goes the nickel. Thanks, mining session. Okay, plenty of constant. Eight constant. And now we should be able to make the gears for the multi servo press. And we're at a little more. Much better. Awesome! So now we can make the Electrum Sheets. Right, I need my Electrum. Electrum! Come here, here boy, here boy. Yes. And it's two Electrum Sheets, I think. Should get sheeted, or, or should get multi-servo pressed. Yeah! I love it! Not every episode of ours is so machiney, but I really do like the problem solving and, like, loops you can make by uh, getting into these technical mods that always make me happy. But I'm pretty sure that means lead gears, easy as pie. And as long as we get this redstone flex thing. Honestly, this it's a big vault diamond cost, now that I think about it. But there it is, a flux linkage amplifier. I gotta be careful about our vault diamonds, because we used a lot of vault diamonds making, you know, 28 knowledge stars. So I'm pretty sure if I put this augment into here, it will increase the amount of RF per tick it takes. But it would also make it faster. Is that, is that faster? See, it's 40 RF per tick, so it is taking more. Oh, yeah, that definitely is faster. Now, can I stack these up to four times to just make an obscene amount of ice? Huh. We need more lead, but lead can go through our... our, our blah, 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 blah. Lead can go through our ore duplicator. Four raw lead blocks is going to turn into, what is it, 120 lead ingots? Uh, this is not a fast process. So it'll take a little bit to get going, but I definitely want to test out that theory of a ton of augments in a single machine. In the meantime, I want to make another blast chiller. Ta da Nice and simple, super fast. This one is going to be used for snowballs. And I believe that also needs a circle press, or a circle template. What's it called? Ball cast. Okay. It, it looks like a circle to me, but it's a ball, I suppose, which requires bronze plates, which is great because we already have all the infrastructure we need to make bronze plates into the press with ye. Alrighty, ball press acquired. So if I put a, a ball press in this blast chiller and fill it with water, I believe that should... Snowballs! Oh, and that uses m half the amount of water. Much less, much less, much less. Now, the water is actually not going to matter because we have a infinite water source or a sink down in our space station where I intend to put all the stuff because look at the aesthetic. Doesn't it look like it would just go right into the wall? 
So I'm thinking these guys are just going to go right in like the main area. Um, and then I'll have our blast chillers and stuff. Uh, well, I guess I should have them sending into our refined storage. I don't want to build a cable. Yeah, I should actually probably put a grid in our space station. That would look cool. It'd be kind of expensive. But it would be cool. Receiver, transmitter, network card, pog, and a grid. Ta-da! All right, that's all hooked up, and I imagine this is now using, yeah, a kind of wacky amount of uh, <laughs> resources, but uh, it's neither here nor there. I'm going to need some cables. Uh, let's see, do I have any importers? That'd be really useful. I have no importers, huh? Well, I only need two importers, don't I? Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, yeah, see that? That looks really cool. I'm glad I did that. Now we can actually access our uh, storage from all the way in here, which is great. Considering, you know, if I have to do mechanism work or whatnot, it's a lot easier to just take our, our ingots and stuff straight out of here and run it into this panel. So, I'm glad I did that. Now, and now anything in here, actually, now I could just run an importer from this thing into our system. Oh! Super automatic. But still, having a grid here looks really cool. And I eventually would like to have a grid here as well. But uh, I don't want to deal with the overhead of that at the moment. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. It's not yet. This wall right here is going to be where I put all of our thermal, uh, well, right now, all of our thermal stuff. All right, with our importers and our cables, it is time to move these guys. This light is going to have to go. This light, too. You know, I think I'm going to remove the lights from the hallways. Yeah, I like that look a lot better. It just feels like it gives more space. And I, I guess I could actually add stuff along here, but I'm not going to. Because I want the two chillers to be flush with the ground. Because they need an import cable as well as a power cable. Well, as well as water being ran into them. Oh, I need three sides of these guys. Hmm. Well, the press and the pulverizer are easy because they just need power. I suppose I could run the water right up here, but I just kind of don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Now that I've removed the lights, I'm going to center the grid, which uh, does mean I need to recard that. Hmm, what to do with these guys? More of you guys, come on! don't want to deal with this at the moment. I'm being sad about builds not being exactly the way I want. Don't you have a heart? Alrighty, time to hook this stuff up to the main line. And I think the main line is somewhere back here. Uh, well, that's space. So, <laughs> that's how that works. Uh, I think it's this way? Hello. Ah, my mess of pipes. I love it. Huh. Why does it not... Do I have to input water specifically from the back? Hmm? What am I doing? Ah! This? Okay. I, I guess I'll disable this for now. Huh. Okay, that's, that's doing that stuff. Oh, I should put, uh, you'll be snowballs. Here, you take that. No, you won't take that. All right, that's fine. I already set up drawers, by the way, for ice and stuff in the system. Um, great, 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 great. Then all I need to do is add continuous power to everything here because right now it's all going to shut down. I should stop. These will stop for now. And then power, 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 power. Ender gate. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Very cool. And then if I bring this forward and place this here, uh, it's definitely not a perfect solution because, you know, you can crouch down and see all the garbage and stuff going on behind here. I guess I could, like, make it maybe a little better by doing this and by doing this. There. That's slightly better. But eventually, eventually, eventually I'll have something to put here. And then that should be powered and this should be powered and that should be receiving infinite water and infinite power or infinite, 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 infinite. And now, we just need to use these importers, real simple, and connect them up to the uh, network extender. 
There we go. You gotta make the this thing make the bottom one orange and then it works. Oh, I see. Orange for output, blue for gotcha. Gotcha. I'm fine. I understand now. Ooh, thought I was missing asphalt. Perfect. So now these are just gonna infinitely produce with water and FE. Very nice. That'll make snowballs, and I can come in here and see. Yep, ice is going up, and just in case, I'm going to dump it back into the system, because I have drawers, and snowball should be going up. Perfect, and same deal. I'm just going to dump it back in the system. Wow, we have a lot of this stuff. Uh, that should be fine. Awesome. And now for our multi-servo precedent, I'll put this back in the pulverizer, and there we go. Thermal expansion. Permanent ice. Permanent snowballs. I actually don't even think I need to speed them up, so I'll probably just put, like, the augments... Or actually, do I have augments in one of these? Oh, I do. I don't think I need an augment in that. I'll probably put the augment in, like, the pulverizer. Considering that seems to be used a lot. There we go. And I like how it looks, too. It adds a very... Like, these right here, these look like, like air vents, almost. I might even just use these as decorative blocks once I have the resources to do so throughout the space station. Because they look really sharp. Well, we are never going to have an ice or snowball problem ever again. <laughs> These both have drawer upgrades on them, by the way. You check that out. It can store so many of them, as well as void upgrades. So they will void anything excess. So that, that system will just keep running forever and ever. I don't really care. It doesn't use that much um, FE per tick. I'm, I'm excited. We're getting to the point where almost everything has been farmed. There are things I don't know if we could farm, though, like like turtle eggs. It asks for turtle eggs, but that's it. The only way you can craft a turtle egg is through Laramar and eggs, which you can't farm Laramar. And I don't believe turtles work in the animal pens. So I don't know if there's an automatic way to farm that. Wow, 180 FE per tick, and our system is holding so strong. Uh, it's going to get harder, though, because I think we've officially... Why why are all the NPCs spawning, huh? What's up with you today? What do you want? Player damage plate. Okay. I'll, I'm not mad. Why would I ever be mad about the wandering traders showing up? They've got the best trades in the entire game. I mean, like, there is nothing to be upset about when the wandering trader shows up. That's a Nycopog, by the way. That's... Okay. Anyways, we've outgrown this base, and I think it's high time we start expanding our prospects, and... We now know that, especially with create stuff, we have to spread things out. But I've got some build ideas. I've got some build ideas that spans far and wide. That's going to require a lot more refined storage networking, and that's the most expensive part. So our power grid might need an update, might need an update. But for now, it's fine, and that is all the time I have for this episode. Yes, very techie episode, very techie episode. Not all of them are going to be that way. We're going to be jumping into some builds in these upcoming videos. So thank you so much for watching. Join the pre-1000 gang. Grab your ticket. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.